Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back. Well, I said that last time, but I'm actually back. Like I'm here. Like I ain't going nowhere. I'm actually on this thing and I'm not going nowhere. So, hello. <laughs> hello guys. I'm back with a new video, a new me, and a new way of approaching this YouTube beast. So I would like to say Happy New Year's because I am a couple of weeks late of my new year, but hell, is better late than never. Happy New Year's to you guys, and I am very sorry that I haven't been uploading videos. I've been having so many damn problems with my Mac, and um, of course, you guys know I've been trying to figure out what's the best uh, picture quality that I want to show you guys when I do my videos, and luckily, I have made the investment, and I will be getting my Canon camera very, 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 very soon, and I'm excited for it. It's going to be great. It's going to have great picture quality and all that goodness that comes with it. Now I just have to invest some money into getting the Final Cut Pro editing software. So that's what it is. But luckily now I got my computer fixed. It's not going anywhere. I can hold up to three times the memory on my little Mac. So I can make up to 200 to 300 videos and that's great and I'm happy about that. So again guys, I'm sorry that I haven't been updating videos and unfortunately the video that I want to upload back in December got lost because they had to clean my computer and blase blase blase. But I'm here. So I wanted to bring you guys a new video and it's actually going to be an update on my foundation routine. Now the last time I made a video about my foundation routine was back in I think February of last year and I was just showing you guys what I've been using and you know how I do my foundation then. Now is completely different and I have upped my makeup game and upped this type of makeup that I've been using. So in this video, this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream and my color is in Sienna. And so I've been using this for, hmm, I would say about a month and a half now. I did get the sampler and I wanted to try to see how it would transition into my skin and it works like a miracle it's amazing and it goes on so flawlessly and so smoothly so this is a foundation that I am going to be using in the video but as for an everyday foundation I still do use my studio sculpt finish in NW45 now this is on the cheaper side of the Becca because the Becca in Sephora is $45 this I believe is 30 something dollars even though it may not be as that much cheaper it's still cheaper in any way because this is a high-end type of foundation makeup and this is more you can get this any Mac store or a little pop-up store that sells in Macy's anywhere so if I ever wanted to go and do my makeup for the day I always turn to my studio sculpt finish and pretty much apply that on my face now the technique that I use in my video is going to be the same way I just apply all my foundations no matter if I'm using the Becca or the Mac so I want to make sure that I showcase that as best as I possibly can but that's pretty much it guys I don't want to ramble on too much but I hope that you guys are here to stay I would like to say hello to all of my subscribers both old and new how are you guys doing and I hope that you guys still stay by me still stay supporting me and making sure that we just grow here on YouTube because I love talking to you guys and I love giving you guys all this amazing stuff that I just have bottled up in my head and blurting it all out at random times of my life okay <laughs> all right so if you guys would like to stay tuned and see my new updated foundation routine just take a look with my eyebrows done and fresh face I'm gonna go straight into doing my eye makeup so I'm gonna be taking some of the concealer that I use for my eyebrows and I'm applying it on my eyelids so I have a clean surface to work on basically I'm gonna be using a unknown palette that has all the colors that I normally will put on my eye for a neutral eye for the day and I'm just going to be blending it in to my eyebrow bone into my crease and also just putting on a simple color on my eye so I can have a nice fresh look for the day I'm <laughs> 
my eyeliner normally I have two eyeliners that I use and today I decided to use a they are real by benefit cosmetics and this is a gel liner and what I'm going to be doing is making a simple wing eyeliner look I don't really like to do anything else because I feel like the wing eyeliner speaks for itself it is a statement type of liner to sport for my normal everyday look So I decided to put on some falsely eyelashes in the Demi Wispies by Ardell and I'm going to be using my MAC Dimension Mascara to blend in my eyelashes with the falsies. And that's pretty much going to be the eye look for today. Now we're going to be going on to the face soon and what I'm going to be using is my Hourglass Veil Primer. Normally I do use my Becca primer, but today I decided to go with the Veil primer because it just gives me an effortless, flawless look. Using the same concealer that I use for my eyebrows, I'm just going to be concealing underneath my eyes. And I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender to blend. So I do have two Beauty Blenders because I needed to get another one. And I'm going to be using my old Beauty Blender, drenching it with water, and just using that to basically spread the product better on my face so I can have more a seamless surface to work with. gonna be looking crazy in a matter of a couple of seconds but right now I'm just using my highlighter concealer to basically use to highlight the parts of my face that I would like to hit the light first so that's down my nose up on my forehead underneath my eye above my cupid's bow my hollows of my cheekbones and right at my chin once the light hits this area it's going to look effortlessly but I also have to make sure I put on my foundation in the spots that is not being highlighted. Very important. Blending, blending, blending. It is so crucial for you guys to blend. This is going to be the make and break of your foundation. So I'm just going to be continuously spraying my beauty blender with water, making sure it's damp so I can be able to spread the product. I may look a little bit yellow on screen and it's because I'm using natural light, but trust and believe I will make sure my face will be all warmed up and you will see the finished look. Just continue watching the video. Don't fret guys, don't fret. <laughs>
here I'm just taking some more foundation and using that to blend in my color a little bit better so I won't look too yellowish on camera. And I'm using my flathead Kabuki brush to blend in all of the extra areas of my face that I was unable to reach with the beauty blender. After blending and blending and blending, you want to make sure you warm up your face. So I'm going to be using a combination of my MAC foundation in NW50 and also my Ebony Bronzer by CoverGirl and using that to warm up my face. I'm going to be using the Ebony Bronzer to basically contour and using my foundation to warm up my face with a big old fluffy brush. To get more of a defined look, what I'm doing here is contouring my nose with a dark brown color um, that's in my natural eye palette. And then I'm using my big old fluffy brush to make sure I blend so it doesn't look like there's two lines going down my nose. And now I'm just using a little bit of my dome brush and that dark brown to hollow out my cheeks a little bit to get more of a defined contoured look. And now all last but not least is just buffing and blending everything, making sure it's seamlessly and it looks effortless. And all I have to do last is add on my lip and my blush and then I will be done with my foundation look. So here's the finished look you guys, very natural, very seamless and it's just a pop of blush on the cheekbones and I absolutely love it. Make sure you guys check out the description box for products listed in this video and also previous videos and until next time you guys, take care.